Number 15, 1971, No S. Jefferson Nickel. Great as PR68 cameo by PCGS. Exquisite surfaces are struck with a smooth golden tinge appearance. Nicely cameoed in finish as well with eye appeal to spare. The noise errors in modern day US proof sets are among the most popular of all modern day errors, with popularity that extends to collectors of the various denominations as well as proof set aficionados. The 1971 No S Jefferson Nickel is one of the more available dates among this type of error and moderately available error with some diligent searching. It was sold for $1,645. Number 14 here is 1973 D. Lincoln Sand in MS67 red condition. The superb gem example is extremely scarce. Rich orange surfaces have considerable reddish fire everywhere. Lincoln is extremely well brought up by the full strike. There are no discernible abrasions or spots. It was sold for $4,993.75. Number 13, 1985 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. According to Stax Powers, direct lighting calls for multicolored iridescent toning that provides outstanding visual appeal. Uncommonly full in strike with exceptional surface preservation as well. This low pop rarity is sure to please. Sold for $4,800. Number 12. This is 1942 Washington Quarter in MS66 Plus condition. CAC proven superb gem with double die reverse. According to the Cherry Pickers Guide, the doubling on this variety is most prominent on the eagle's beak and the, the arrows and the branch above the mint mark. A well struck premium gem with bold satin luster and light silver grey gold and speckled russet patina. The surfaces are clean and mark free. It ended up selling for $8,225. Number 11, 1942D Jefferson Nickel was repunched mint mark D over D. Graded in mint state 65 by PCGS, this well struck gem boasts a lovely champagne rose luster, a very nice piece and well preserved issue that is rare even in lower mint state grades. Important find for the advanced Jefferson Nickel collector. This one ended up selling for $8,050. Number 10. This is 1961 Washington Quarter in MS67 Plus condition. In addition to virtually pristine surfaces, this coin displays beautiful multicolored peripheral toning that is bolder and more extensive on the obverse. The leftover border exhibits intense charcoal blue, brick red, and antique gold. Razor sharp striking detail and bountiful mint luster add to the appeal. It is difficult to imagine a nicer survivor of this issue. It was sold for $8,400. Number 9, 1976D Eisenhower dollar with type 1 reverse. Graded in mean state 67 by PCGS, one of the very finest known dollars from this mintage of 21.04 million coins. The overall preservation is exceptional, especially for accenting the silky and satiny luster throughout. Boldly defined and showing traces of dye polishing around the worst devices, the Type 1 features large flat letters, while the Type 2, as here, features Sinner more angular letters than before. As with many of the Eisenhower dollars, the 1976D was not particularly well made as a whole, especially those intended for circulation and was prone to damage. This MS67 superb gem was bargained for $9,600. Number 8. This is 1964D Washington Quarter with Type C reverse, aka reverse of 1965, graded in mean state 66 plus by PCGS and the grade proven by CAC. With intense mint luster in smooth satiny finish, otherwise untoned, both sides are ringed in partial halos of iridescent reddish gold that deliver strong eye appeal. 
at 704,135,528 coins struck. The 1964D has the highest mintage in the Washington Quarter series up to that point in the time. Upper end gems are surprisingly scarce. This one ended up selling for $8,400. Number 7, 1971, Eisenhower dollar in MS66 plus condition, ice blue and rose blanket surfaces of this most attractive gem. This is the first year of issue and the popular rebirth of dollar sized coin. A total of 47,799,000 pieces were struck that year. This MS66 gem ended up selling for $10,281.25. Number 6, this is 1964 SMS Lincoln sent in MS65 red condition. Numismatist love a good mystery, and the 1964 SMS sets certainly provide one. The sets first appeared publicly in Stax auctions in the early 90s. The prevailing view is that they originated in the estate of former mint director Eva Adams, and were bought by coin dealer Lester Merkin. Like all of the 1964 SMS coins, the present Lincoln Sand displays a razor sharp strike with high squared off rims and heavy haphazard die polishing. Here, more prominent on the obverse, the color is brick red with a couple of brown flecks appearing under a loop and some magenta on the high points. It was sold for $11,400. Number 5, 1950 Lincoln sent in PR66 plus red deep cameo condition. Proofs struck earlier in the year show slightly granular surfaces, while Lincoln sent proofs minted later in 1950 were struck from highly polished dyes, creating the deep cameo contrast seen on premium gem. Blazing pumpkin gold surfaces exhibit deeply mirrored field and frosty design elements, and the sharp is predictably razor sharp. It was sold for $12,925. Number 4, this is 1909 Morgan Dollar in PR67 condition. This boldly and vividly toned beauty displays a blend of antique copper, steely grey, pale gold, powder blue, reddish apricot, and salmon pink patina. The finish is strongly reflective, and the overall striking detail is razor sharp. The surfaces are smooth for the assigned grade and very close to pristine. The 1901 Morgan dollar, the first silver dollar coinage of 20th century, had a proof mintage of 813 pieces, though some of that production run has no doubt succumbed to the march of time. The present specimen is high in the rankings for survivors of this issue, what with its rare superb gem grade. It was sold for $18,000. Number 3, this is 1944 Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with full steps. This superb gem boasts incredible eye appeal with delicate iridescent toning of violet rows and lemon traces when closely examined with the toning on the devices while the surrounding fields are satiny silver white. The surfaces are key factor here, nudging close to an absolute perfection with just a few minute signs of handling. For identification, there is a minute flake missing from the dome of Monticello. It was sold for $22,325. Number 2, extremely rare 1983 Lincoln Sand struck on a copper planchet, originally toned in light grey brown. Both sides do reveal flickers of original faded rose luster. In the protected areas around and among the devices as the surfaces dip into a light. Sharply struck with few outwardly noticeable blemishes, this pleasing mint state example is sure to excite advanced Lincoln Sand and US Mint error specialists. There are only a handful of these known and had to have been created by a leftover copper planchet that were stuck in the planchet bin at the mint, but in the mid-1982 and somehow remained stuck until the year 1983 came around and were fed into the coining press as normal planchets. This MS62 brown gem was sold for $22,325. Number 1, and this is 1964 Canada of Dollar from Special Mint Set. 
in January 1964, the first GFK halves were struck, amounting to a total production of over 429 million circulation strikes between Philadelphia and Denver, and nearly 4 million proofs. Somewhere along the line, about a dozen specimen strikings were produced. These are clearly different in style to either those struck for circulation or proofs. The devices on these specimens are sharply struck with exceptionally bold definition in the hair and the rims are high up and fully squared. The fields show extensive dye polishing marks in the reverse fields. The obvious details include a small tie of the crossbar of the four, a feature that has never been observed on any other 1964 half dollar. This true rarity in SP67 plus grade was sold for $99,875. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next episode.